An aircraft carrier is often deployed for six months at a time. A key part of its effectiveness is that often the enemy has no idea where it is. But on board, what if something breaks? It's not like FedEx can just deliver a new part. That means the sailors need to fix everything on board. And on the USS Abraham Lincoln, the man in charge is right here in our area. This is the exciting part of an aircraft carrier. FA-18s howling off the deck while the crews in their color-coded uniforms perform what's been called a symphony of chaos. But below decks is everything that makes it tick. Thousands of people who might go all day and not even see the outdoors. Utilized to unload the ammunition. To... And the one man who really makes it all happen grew up in the Roanoke Valley. Chief Warren Officer Jason Grisso. For a small town boy growing up in Virginia, Stewartsville specifically, it's uh, absolutely eye-opening to see how people live. It's humbling actually. Grisso wanted to follow in his father's footsteps, so he joined the Navy hoping to learn a trade. Went down to the recruiting office off of Peters Creek one day and they had me on a bus no more than two weeks later. For nine years he was a mechanic traveling the world as a sailor and working primarily on planes. Then he began taking classes and got a degree, earning his current rank and responsibility. A strand of solder the size of a human hair connecting both of these will destroy the whole thing. From the smallest circuit board, to the calibration of tools, to the maintenance of the ship's firefighting equipment and the fighter jets themselves, if it's broken on the Abe Lincoln, it's Grisso's team that gets it fixed. So right now, your shop is fixing the computers that aid you in fixing the jets. Yes, sir. He showed us diagnostic computers called benches that determine why an F-18 might not be working properly. Right now, his team is fixing the computers themselves. Another team member adjusts the tension on a metal bar that attaches to a jet releasing it at just the right pressure to send that jet down the deck and into the air. It has to be perfect. And all of this precise work must be done on board. Without Aircraft Intermediate Mains Department support, there's no, air, no way that we could launch the aircraft no matter where we are in the world. Grisso has been on numerous deployments to places like the Mediterranean, Portugal, Spain, Italy, Egypt, Bahrain, and Dubai a long way from his upbringing in Stewartsville. It's been really uh, empowering and, and then also enlightening to see how other people uh, live their lives and to kind of take that back home and share with some of my friends has been a really neat experience. He might be the most important person on the ship, huh? Yeah, well, they can't go far without him. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Man, that's overwhelming just thinking about all the stuff that he has to fix and know and understand. Right, and. Right. Wow, that's really impressive. And he kind of worked his way up the ranks mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, but, you know, and he's just one example of all the different people that it takes to right. make that ship or the Navy work. And so everything for me, you know, I, I was there for four days from the training to the flights to, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. The amount of respect that I have for the men and women right. who serve in our armed forces uh, is quadrupled. Right. And I because mm -hmm. I already had a lot of respect right. for him, but going there and seeing him do it firsthand, seeing how hard mm -hmm. everybody works and how disciplined they have to be, uh, it's really eye opening. I think so. that really shines through in the stories too, and, and and then just generates more respect for the viewer as well. I I'm hope I hope that our viewers have that takeaway. Going, hmm, yeah. yeah, it's a big deal. That, that's hard, right? Yeah. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.